What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, man. I'm finna hit y'all with another one. This one right here, it's gonna be the Earth is flat and it is no outer space. And I'm making this one because I just wanna get some people to thinking. Once you get to thinking, a lot of stuff start to happen for you. So, I got a couple points that I got and some notes on this phone. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop them because I just want, to, want you to check it out and just think about it at least. Okay, first thing I wanna say is we live in an indestructible dome. It's no in or no out unless you die or you get some special ability. It's no other way. And the proof of this is it was something called Operation Fishbowl where the United States government was launching nuclear bombs up into the sky. For what reason? They know everything, but they telling you other stuff for the purpose of the great deception that they got coming. And it just, that's what it is. So they was launching, launching nuclear bombs up into the sky and it was hitting the dome. Just look up Operation Fishbowl. If you don't believe me, look that up. Another one. All the pictures that NASA use is a reanimation. Even though we know it's fake off rip, but they say they take the picture. And since it's not enough detail, they re they reanimate it. Or they animate it. It's reanimate reanimate really because the first one animated they both animated but either way it go if y'all don't see it clearly in the picture how could you make it up without using theories which ain't proven they just go with the flow that's what theories do they just go with the flow of things they never get proven that's why they call it theories They can't say it's 100% true, but they can't say it's a theory. And people will go with theories. So. Another one to get you thinking. Why can't they go back to the moon? The technology that they had then ain't got nothing on what we got now, and they still can't go back to the moon, that's extremely suspicious to me. You went to the moon, and then I seen this video where this man was walking up to all the scientists with a holy, with a Bible. He was walking up to all the scientists with a, uh, with a Bible, telling them to square on the Holy Bible that they, uh, he said, swear on the Holy Bible you've been to the moon. And they got mad with him and started hitting him and stuff. Two things were suspicious about that. The fact that they wouldn't swear on the Holy Bible. So they know something we don't know about the Bible. Otherwise, they would have just went with it. Number two, they never been to the moon. That was a dead giveaway. Another thing that's another dead giveaway that they didn't go to the moon is when you look at the moon landing, right? Space is supposed to be a vacuum. So that means there's no wind in space. There's no nothing in space. Look at that gang stalking Jeep. I don't know if you can see it back though. But every time I come out, I see that Jeep and it's on. The person just watching me. But anyway, space is supposed to be a vacuum. But if you watch that moon landing video, the flag is moving like wind is blowing on it. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. That that never happened the way you think it did. They didn't blast off in a rocket, land on the moon, and all of that. And that was the best time for them to fake it because if they try to fake it now with cameras of that low quality, a lot of more details would have probably got given away. Another thing. Why is there 
a half moon phase when the earth is supposed to be round. There is no point in a round object when you could make a a, a shadow of it and it be a flat line. So somebody, I don't know, somebody explain that because I don't know, it just don't add up to me. It shouldn't be no half moon with a straight line down the middle if those phases of the moon is the earth covering part of it. Another thing, the horizon, which is the part, the stalker left, the horizon, which is the part where the earth and the sun meet when the sun is on the way down, the set. Uh, it's never a curve, it's always flat. And you might say it's because the earth is so expansive, it still should be some sort of visible curve. And my last point I wanna get into. Nobody has ever crossed the wall of Antarctica and we're not even allowed to go. So yeah, we're not allowed to go to Antarctica Nobody ever crossed the water at Antarctica. And everything about it is just sketchy. Antarctica is the edge where the dome meet. And you know, CERN is super cold, super, the Hadron Collider is super cold. So wherever there's a lot of energy, I'm gonna be guessing that it's super cold. And due to the fact this dome is indestructible, I think it's, I think it got a lot of energy. It was made by the creator himself, itself, because I don't know, it's a him, her. But, indestructible dome. That's what we live in. Look at the ancient Hebraic view of the world. Everything is in the dome. Anyway, it's your boy, Maine. Take it easy.